Well, her fate is beyond me. I'll have to speak with her. And he looks out, and you can see, kind of like jogging up the uh, the pathway that leads to the castle. A couple guards trying to keep up. Um, you see a uh, a short gnomish woman um, of white hair that's kind of uh, pulled back into a messy bun that's kind of falling apart as she runs, and bits of it are kind of tangled behind. Wearing this like uh, bright yellow sun blouse that kind of uh, drifts into a white apron. Uh, and she's got she's a little, little chubby around the face and these kind of meaty arms as she kind of charges up quickly. And she goes, Percy! Percy! <laughs> and you see the Lord kind of, yes, Pike? <laughs> <laughs> what do you need? No decorum. He kind of just oh, runs in. Uh, the guards kind of step out of the way, looks up. It's early, you don't normally call me to the castle. I'm a little confused. Hi. 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 Oh, greetings. I'm Pike. Fresh cut grass. Ashton. Hi. Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Imogen Temmold. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh. Hi, Miss Trickfoot. My name's Orem. It's really formal. <laughs> what do you do around here? I bake. Name a baker. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I don't do as much as I used to. We, we have a lot of people running it now. We have a uh, shop. Uh, it's called the Slayer's Cake. It's a little ways into the city there. Oh. Um, I'm more of a manager at this point, but you know, I still like to get I look at baker. Lord Dorolo. I thought you said she was a. She's a baker? A holy woman. Uh, she runs a bakery? You can have multiple uh, interests and. Uh, Pike. Um, yes. Uh, I'm sorry to pull you away from your morning. Goods, uh, but these individuals have come at the behest of Lady Keyleth. They seek the restoration of a fallen friend. She was. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <casual>. um, <laughs> it's, it's been a little bit. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, well, uh, you, you all seem to be standing okay. Uh, are they here? Uh, yes. She's the dead one over there. Here, now, again, is this what, uh, right where would you like head. to see her? Is it all right, uh, Mr. Dor right? Dorolo? Can we just like pop her down no, on the chair there, or something? Or? Here is fine. Oh. It's nice fabric and stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. She's not leaking. She's not decomposing. You stopped her from decomposing. That was eight, eight and a half days ago. She was it eight and a half days? I thought it was five days ago. It wasn't that long. Um, it was six or seven. It's still holding a bloody spell. As you begin wrapping Pike, you see like pulls from the blouse uh, a chain that dangles in there at the base of it. You see what looks to be a, a a golden symbol that resembles these like flaming angelic wings. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is oh. just the symbol of my. Steal it. No. Steal it. <laughs> no. 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 Well, I uh, <clears throat> have a friend who's also a god, and this is what I used to talk to her. How many people know you gods in this town? Have you talked to gods? Have you talked to, talk to gods too? Well, I mean, anyone can talk to a god. You just have to go and pray at a temple. Oh. Oh. oh that doesn't sound as exciting. Lady Keyleth made but it But I have actually like... talked to her. What? So oh, anyway. My god. Um, that's a long time ago. I'm just a baker now. Wait, a so baker that can bring someone back to life. Well, I didn't make any promises. And at this point now, she looks down and like, oh no, this poor thing. And she kind of kneels down next to her and kind of like brushes the hair out of Laudna's face. She looked like that before she died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is her. It's a little weird. Yeah. A little weird. But she was she killed once before. Takes all kinds. She was. Did you, were you at the. She was. She died in the tree and then she was brought back. Lord Percival goes. She was on the sun tree, Pike. 